So I'm doing about five different projects in my shop right now, and most of them are just drudgery. I am doing one though that's actually kind of interesting, and I thought you might want to know. And that's to make signs out of multi-layer plastic like this. And if you're interested in figuring that out, then stick around. So how's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome back to the shop. As I mentioned, I make a lot of signs and in this case I'm making signs for, uh, for a company, a solar energy company. They make all these warning signs and this is one of about six different ones they have. And uh, they have 3M tape on one side, but the actual plastic part of this, it's a multi-layer plastic. So in this case it's red on the surface, a very, very thin layer and then the white substrate underneath. And you can get this stuff in a million different colors and both inside and, and outside. So uh, so that's what I'm doing. I have probably two or 300 of these to make over the next little while, but I'm not actually gonna show you how to make that one. I'm gonna show you how I made this one. And this is one that I'm, it's a little humorous. It's just designed to stick on my 3624 DIY laser I'm building, just so that when people come into the shop, you know, I can have a conversation starter. And I'll show you how to, how to make this or any other sign using this, this material. So let's get going. So any good project starts with a good design. And in this case, uh, I'm in Inkscape where I designed this. It, this literally took five minutes because all that's involved here is two pieces of text, one with, with the, the warning and one with the word danger and an ellipse and a rectangle. And they're all centered horizontally on the page. The outer rectangle here is actually the page dimensions in Inkscape. We'll worry about those later, but one thing I will do when I when I load this into the laser is draw an extra rectangle around it uh, as a cut uh, as a cut rectangle. Uh, I'm not doing it here, and I'm doing it. I'm not doing that for a reason because if I were to save this right now as an SVG file, when I load it into the laser, either in Lightburn or RE3 or Glowforge, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it will come in as a bunch of vectors. Now, what I've noticed when cutting this lamacoid material. Vectors seem to be a little hard on it. They, they cut deeper than you would expect and it doesn't seem to matter where you set the power or the speed. It's really hard to get the settings right. So what I'm going to do is export this as a PNG file and you can do that in Inkscape right from the main menu here, for, right from the file menu. And uh, so I'll export the whole page which is that outer rectangle and of course I've already got one. but. Uh, so I'll export it there and it's done. And, and all I really need to do now is load this into my laser software, put that cut re rectangle around it and, and send it to the laser. So let's make that happen. All right, so I'm in Retina and Gray 3 now, uh, the laser software for the Muse 3D. And uh, I've got a workspace set up here. So what I need to do is I'll load my PNG file and pop back here and you can see it there and I'll put it somewhere where it fits. Now this, as I mentioned, is, is a raster, but one of the things I need to do is actually have a vector on this to do the cutout. So let me drop that on there and I'll just do it quickly here. I won't worry too much about the size and we'll make, we'll make that, oh, it's already orange and we'll select, actually those settings aren't too bad, 24% speed, 100% power, we'll cut the rectangle out. Now the, the image itself is, uh, as I mentioned, is a raster, and we're gonna cut that. Uh, we won't use half tone, we'll use threshold because that will create a definite black and white. There, there won't be any you know, questionable uh, shades there. We definitely wanna go fast with this, but what I'll do is I'll say, uh, let's scale the power down to maybe, uh, let's try 35% should do it. Uh, again, fairly low power, but definitely fast. And uh, that'll do it. So I'll just start the laser and, and we'll see what, what comes out here.
And that's pretty much it. These these Lamacoid signs are, are actually pretty easy to create once you get the settings right. Now I'll tell you uh, a couple of tips. So tip number one is when you're cutting these, you might see, and I'll show you the, the one I just finished off the laser if I can zoom it in here. You might see down at the bottom here, there's a bit of red uh, and maybe a little up at the top here in the danger. That's just a little bit of, of dust left over from the, from the engraving process. Sometimes you can just wash that with, with a bit of soap and water. Uh, if you really get stuck, uh, you can use a, a, a magic eraser sponge, uh, very lightly rub it. Uh, those sponges are actually a little abrasive, so you don't want to be too harsh with it. But if you just have a, a light bit like this, uh, you can just use a sponge to clean it or just even a soapy water and a toothbrush. Now, if your sign, and I did one on purpose incorrect here, if your sign comes out looking like this, where there's just red residue everywhere, uh, that's most of the time that's because you're, you're cutting from the wrong direction. So in the, in the laser video here where I showed you the engraving, Notice it started at the top and was working its way to the bottom. So it started close to the, the exhaust fan uh, output and worked its way away from it. Seems backwards because normally when you engrave, you go the other direction. But uh, this particular one, the only difference between this and, and, a, you know, and the other sign is I cut this one from, from the bottom up. So I was cutting engraving towards the exhaust fan and that's a good indication that you're you're working in the wrong direction so you can on a, in a retina engrave 3 uh, software light burn you can reverse the direction so you can cut from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom when you're doing raster so pay attention to that i'll show you a bit of me mounting the uh, the finished product on the laser you can see there's a bit of black there i I just use my Cricut to vinyl cut a piece around it, uh, around the danger sign. Those danger signs are normally black on the outside. So that's what I did. I just stuck a piece of that on and then I masked off my laser to get everything square, peeled off the 3M uh, tape and mounted it on there. You can see it was pretty simple and the finished product looks great. Uh, anyway, I will call that a video. As always, uh, I'll put a video up above here uh, with some other project we've done in the past. If you haven't seen that, go watch that and I'll see you over there. Uh, otherwise, get out there and make your world and I'll see you next time.